Man, I just realized that if there was someone that had the time to do the research to make a video series called Community Managers of Horror, I think your channel would blow up. Because right now, when it comes to gaming, <coughs> it is very difficult to think of a community manager that is actually not toxic. None of them vibe with the gamers. None of them even respect the gamers. Like, I don't know where they get them from. Like, I think the CEOs of these companies have to descend to hell. They, they have to do a summoning ritual. They summon a Sakubasu, and the Sakubasu is like, mm, Darling, I can make all of your wishes come true. What do you want? And they're like, I want a community manager that makes my customers afraid. I, I, I want a community manager that actually scares customer rather than brings them in. And the Sakubasu is like, mm, say no more. And, and they summon the thing. They, they summon the manifestation. So what am I talking about? Well, if you haven't seen the previous video, uh, the Godot engine... In a time when you have the Bud Light boycott and the Target boycott and, and you have the Concord and everything like that. Uh, they decide out of the blue, yeah, you know what? We're actually a woke engine. We're, we're pretty fucking woke here. And, you know, like the left is like, oh, but, but what is woke? How can you define woke? Interesting how no one is asking her the question. No one is asking her what is woke. All of a sudden, all the left is out of where, right? Now, if you're asking me what is woke, it's uh, banning your loyal customers. Yeah, that's pretty fucking woke. That is peak Americanism woke. That That is like the, the epitome of hiring woke individuals in your business. It's when they start banning loyal customers. And they weren't just banning customers that were making fun of her. Where, again, like you're a company account, right? You shouldn't be banning anyone unless you know they're not interested in buying the product. But you had developers that would show evidence that they're using the Godot engine and their projects are integrated in the Godot engine. There is no reason to ban them. And they didn't just ban those people. They even banned people with legitimate concerns about the engine. Like there were individuals that were saying, yeah, you know, like the font integration isn't working as it should. Like, why, why don't you guys fix that? The funny part is <laughs> she banned that guy. And when people looked at that guy, they also realized that they're banned by that guy because that guy was also using blacklists and stuff. So, like, chances are that developer was a leftist blocking people, getting blocked by a leftist community manager for insulting the engine. I, I'm not making it up. Like, this is the real Korewa Genjutsu Des, you know? So, anyway, people uh, have been upset by the happenings, and they started looking into it. It's like, who is this community manager? Well, apparently, she, they, uh, with a vegan name, that's something from Germany. That's, oh my goodness. Like, you're looking at the account, it's... Uh, l l like, half her hair is shaven, chat. Half her hair is shaven. Can you imagine that? Like, just close your eyes and imagine, like, a person, a woman... And most women, they, they do care about their hair. Like, they view their hair as an asset, right? It's a beautification. She shaved willingly half her hair, chat. The other half is a little bit longer, but, like, half of her head is shaven. If I am to walk into someone's house and I see a parrot with half its feathers plucked, I would think that that is a bird in distress. Goodness gracious. And, and she's also... How can I put this? Not on the thin side. Like, if I was to go into your house and I saw a cat that would have, like, the... I can't say the equal weight, but, like, the... You know, what what would be that weight for a human? We, we transcend it to that weight for a cat. I would think that you're mistreating the animal, you sick fuck. Like, what, why can't you... Like, the cat can't even move. It's like, what, what are you doing? Stop feeding the cat. Like, feed it properly. Give it the proper diet. So, anyway... Yeah, no, seriously, imagine going into a person's house and you see a half-shaven cat that, that's also insanely rotund to the point where it, it can't even run. Like, if, if you get that cat to run, it would have a heart attack. Like, this is what we're talking about, right? And the level of disdain and, and the level of animosity they have towards gaming, they even have the word obnoxious in their title. Why would you hire someone that has, like, obnoxious in their She's obnoxiously queer. Okay, whatever. After that fiasco, <laughs> the CEO of the company comes and uh, they start backpedaling. Because, again, overwhelmingly negative reception. 
And uh, the CEO is like, uh, is it the CEO? I think it's the CEO, right? Uh, creator and technical advisor. I only tweet about Godot updates and new features. So so I don't know if it's the CEO, but it's, it's someone higher up, let's say. I deeply believe that any political discussion that puts label to a group of people is one that should not have started. So is this a condemnation of the community manager? Because yes, I agree. You're a company making a game engine. What, are you going to host the presidential debates in your headquarters? What are we doing here? Why, why are we... Like, like, when you look at the political arena, right? You usually have like a 50-50 split. Why do you want to split your customers like that? As most of the people in this planet... Oh, stop making this interplanetary, please. Uh, no matter their pol political compass seems so strongly to disagree with me, I just prefer to stay entirely out of politics. I mean, that's fantastic, but no one is agreeing you of getting involved into politics. Your community manager is getting involved into po- Why? Why? Like, like if you are, uh, I don't know, an activist group, it would make sense. If you were... Uh, I don't even know, like a historical recreation troupe or some shit? I, I would get it. You're a game engine. Don't you want right-wingers to make games with your game engine? Don't you want left-leaning people to make games with your game engine? Don't you want apolitical people? They, they shut the fuck up about politics. There is nothing you can say about politics that will get people to agree with you 100%. And in, in fact, anything you say about politics is probably going to get some people to get pissed off and stop using your engine. So as you can see, you know, the response, it's uh, fantastic that you wish to be neutral when your community managers purge anyone on the wrong side of politics. Can you explain this? I didn't interact with you or go that since I have nothing to do with your work. Yeah, so now he's in a pickle. But seriously, like the community managers from hell, man, like I, I see it everywhere on all these official platforms. And, and they're doing so much damage to companies right now. Like, like for instance, the hell divers community manager, same shit. Like hell divers is a game that everyone likes. And then they go there on Reddit and they get banned and, and, and they get banned from Discord for like the smallest infractions. So what the fuck are you doing? There was another one. Um, I forgot the name of the game. Uh, Trench Crusaders. Oh, Trench Crusader is the best example, right? So you have uh, a scandal in Warhammer 40k and now everyone is migrating towards Trench Crusaders. Like they're getting so many eyeballs and YouTubers, including myself. I'm looking into their game and I like what I'm seeing. And then you go on Discord and the community managers start banning people. And they're also saying, uh, yeah, you know what? Um, yeah, we're going to think about adding communists into our game. And their game is about actual Satan walking the earth. Like, just so you can understand, it's not like a fictional thing that... that it's like in our universe where you can't know for sure if God... No, no, no. In that universe, you know. Like, in that universe, you know that Satan is real. Right? So, like, the only thing that you can do is to praise to Jesus. There is no secularism. This is like, so, so, like, if you're adding communists in that game, the only way you could do it is if they're part of the forces of Satan. And I know you're not going to do that. because, like, uh, But it's, it's ridiculous. It, it is what it is. And because of that, because of saying shit like that, now no one cares about Trench Crusaders. It's, it's like, why are you hiring these people that, that are just destroying your businesses. And you're making them as the face of the company. Because this is who people interact with. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.